What's up guys, this is Marcus from Studio One Expert, and today we're gonna to be having a look at setting up QMixes within Studio One. Now, if you have an interface with multiple outputs, you might not realize it, but you already have an amazing QMix system built right into Studio One. So let's open up our preferences here. I'm gonna go over to Song Setup, Audio IO Setup, and let's scroll to the Outputs tab. And you'll notice that I have four stereo outputs mapped out to my Apogee Ensemble here. Uh, you'll also notice here that we've got this little checkbox here where I can enable QMix. So let's go ahead and activate QMix for Ensemble 3 and 4 and Ensemble 5 and 6. And while we're here, just to make things easier for us, uh, let's identify these as a separate outputs or separate QMixes. So for the first one here, I'm going to double click this. Let's call this Drum Cue. And the next one, let's call it Bass Cue. So now I've renamed those outs and we've enabled them as a QMix output. Let's go ahead and click apply and then let's click OK. So now you notice that underneath our sends here, I'm just going to move them up a bit. Uh, this would be where we'd put our reverbs and our delays and everything like that. And we've got these two rows of sends across here that have the exact same name as the output that we defined in the output tabs. So because we've defined these stereo outs as a QMix, they've now become built right into the mixer. So at a first glance here, we can see that we have two different bits of information. We've got a level here, and we've got a pan knob. So if I make changes to this level, see that over there, it's moving up and down. And if I make changes to the pan in here, that's reflected in the mixer as well for the QMix. Now you'll notice that the minute I touch one of these levels and I bring it down, that it becomes unlocked. Or the minute I touch one of these pans, that becomes unlocked. Now I can relock it by clicking the lock tab and it'll snap to whatever we have in our console here. So that's a handy feature to have. So let's say that we have two different mixes here. We've got a mix for the drummer and we've got a mix for the bassist. So let's take a look at everything that we have here. So for the drummer, let's just say that he's gonna be happy with the mix that we have, but he doesn't wanna hear that much of the guitars or the bass. So what we can do with this particular instance is we can select these two and let's move both of these down a little bit. You'll notice that that's become unlocked. So now the drummer is listening to the full mix that we're listening to, and he's listening to less of the guitar and less of the bass player. Now let's say that the bass player wants to hear less of the drums and more of himself. So I can go over to the bass cue mix and I can select all of the drums. So I'm gonna select from here all the way to here, and let's drop down the level in the bass cue mix. So I'm gonna grab all of these and I'm gonna bring them all down about to there, somewhere around there. So now the bass player is hearing less of all of the drums and maybe he says, you know what, I wanna hear myself even more. So I can push his mix up even a little bit louder. And I'll be able to monitor the master output by using my output tabs here. Now here's another cool thing about QMix. Let's say that I don't need to hear, I'm monitoring this main mix and I don't need to hear a click track because I've got the world's best drummer and I know that he's just gonna be bang on the money. So I'm gonna disengage the metronome from my track here. I don't wanna be listening to it. Now we want the drummer to hear a click track. So he's coming out of drum cue, which if you recall, we assigned to, let's just double check this again outputs, we assign the drum cue is set to outputs three and four. So I'm just gonna click okay here. So I'm gonna go to my outputs three and four here and I'm gonna enable the metronome for him only. I'm gonna set the volume at somewhere about there. And now just the drummer is hearing the click track. Now let's say that the bassist wants to hear just a little bit of click. So I can go to his separate discrete output, which is output five and six. I can enable the click track for him and I can bring this way down, so somewhere like that. So now our drummer has his own mix, our bass player has his own mix, and me and the uh, guitarist are here in the control room and we're monitoring the mix coming from the main outs, but we're keeping everybody else happy with their own discrete mix. So that's QMix, super simple to set up and really, really helpful. I hope you guys got something from this and we'll talk to you later. Cheers.